And I thought I'd do another tutorial just because the other one wasn't very good. So um, I can do an automatic machine gun this time. So just open our project. So oh, do we need a new composite shop first of all? So you can just go to new composite shop, but I've got mine here. So let's just open it now. Now dragging our footage. If you've got a double UMV, you need to change the frame rate. Do whatever your camera's filming at. Usually you can find out on the camera, but sometimes you can't. So, just dragging our footage. And we've got it here, and now our effect. Resize it by dragging it around again. Now We've got our gun moving, then we need to parent it. So, turn this back to track, I go down here, and set the tracking icon, move it to where you want it. So if you, you can play it, or you can go one frame by skipping it. So that's track the whole thing. And now we need a new layer and point, you can also use the control P. Shortcut. So, click on the tracker, do a new point, and make sure you remember to press apply because sometimes it doesn't work. So, I do the other. Turn this back on. And to get rid of the black, simply right click, select the blending mode screen. Which removes the colour depending on how dark or bright it is. So we can move this along here and go into this selection box here, click on new point. Now well, sometimes when you do that your effect goes back to its normal way around if you've rotated it. Well, that only happens if you've rotated it. So we can drag it back in here, take our sound effects. The output to here. So now that that's done, I'll just show it to you. So uh, check back for more tutorials soon. I should be doing an explosion tutorial and a cloning tutorial soon, both basic and advanced.